Let's talk about the Crosshair 8 Extreme. It's got a passive chipset design, our most advanced VRM design with an 18 plus two power stage configuration that's teamed, two large VRM heat sinks connected by a heat pipe, true independent dual BIOS for more flexibility when it comes to overclocking, dynamic OC switcher for the most flexibility in overclocking your CPU, Optimum 3 for the best performance when overclocking your DDR4 memory, three RGB lighting zones, one here, another here, and then the third here on the side of the motherboard, three ARGB headers on the motherboard, as well as an included fan and ARGB controller. It's got specialized high amperage fan header here, as well as water cooling zone headers here. It's got a lot of IO connectivity, 10 gigabit LAN, 2.5 gigabit LAN, Wi-Fi 6C, Thunderbolt 4, Bluetooth, USB-C connectivity all on the rear, along with four internal super speed USB 3 ports on the board, support for up to five M.2 SSDs, two underneath the electroplated M.2 heatsink, one underneath the two inch OLED display, and then two via the DIMM.2 add-in card. It's got a premium audio design with an ALC 4082 audio codec and an ESS Sabre DAC, and an included USB-C audio DAC. Hi guys, welcome to Oro's channel. I'm Gabby from Oro's, and with me is Sophos, our technical marketing PM. Hi Gabby, hi guys. Oro's X570 and Motherboard are finally here, and we are all very excited. So, can you explain me about the Oro's X570 lineup? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Gigabyte's uh, Oro's X570 lineup contains seven different models. You can have a look on them uh, right here. Yes. Uh, the Oro's Extreme, the Oro's Master, and the Oro's ITX motherboards. Uh, they are for enthusiast users uh, who are looking to upgrade to the best peripheral components, but it's also great so it's, uh, for extreme water cooling mm -hmm. builds. Uh, they are suitable uh, for AAA gamers uh, who want to play their games on ultra settings. Uh, the Oros Ultra and the Oros uh, uh, Pro and Pro Wi-Fi are primarily uh, designed for gamers to dominate their, their opponents in-game uh, with a motherboard's excellent list of features. They are still suitable uh, for AAA gamers, but not for ultra settings. Uh, the Oros Elite is an entry uh, gaming solution which still offers a great performance, but with less features. Okay, so how if I am a budget gamer, which model will you recommend? Oh, I would definitely recommend you the Oros Elite. Uh, I think it offers a great performance uh, to value ratio. Okay, thanks for your suggestion. So, what is the main difference between the previous uh, generation mainstream and the chipset compared to X570? Okay, so X570 chipset comes with a lot of new features, but the one that really stands out is uh, the new PCIe 4.0 interface. Uh, the PCIe uh, 4.0 interface is being enabled with a third generation uh, AMD Ryzen CPUs, and it allows for double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0 interface. Mm -hmm. But in order, in order for the new motherboards uh, to be able to achieve this kind of uh, speeds, uh, they need a more advanced uh, design that contains new components uh, to ensure the best PCIe 4.0 signal quality, including mm -hmm. PCB, uh, PCI slots, and the two slots, read drivers, and switches uh, that are specifically designed uh, for this new interface. Uh, also, Gigabyte, in cooperation with AMD, uh, develops PCIe 4.0 uh, graphics cards and the new uh, PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSD, mm -hmm. uh, which was announced at Computex 2019. Okay, so as far as we know, AMD announced a third generation Ryzen 60 core CPU. Do X570 motherboard needs any advanced power design to support them? Uh, of course, uh, it's the first time that we see so many cores in the mainstream yes. chipset, uh, and the new motherboards definitely need a more advanced uh, power solution. Uh, this time on the Oros Extreme, uh, the Oros Master and the uh, ITX model uh, of our motherboards, uh, we use a power design that we call uh, direct power design. Mm -hmm. Basically, using the latest PWM controller, uh, we're able to have one power stage per phase uh, without any components in between. Uh, that results to a lower uh, voltage ripple, perfect low, uh, load balance, mm -hmm. and a higher power efficiency than before. Although, even on the lower-end motherboards, we don't compromise the power performance. Uh, even our Solid is equipped with 14 phases in total, uh, providing users with the best possible performance. Oh, so, uh, what makes Oros Thermal Design unique and why this model doesn't have a chipset fan? Alright, so obviously, having the best power design uh, on the Oros motherboards 
we couldn't, uh, they, they couldn't support a cheap uh, cooling solution. Uh, our motherboards are the only motherboards in the market that are equipped with heat sinks that have real fins uh, for a better uh, heat dissipation. Uh, there's also a unique design where the heat pipe uh, touches uh, directly uh, the power stages, again for a better cooling performance. Uh, moreover, uh, our motherboards uh, come with M.2 thermal guards, essentially M.2 heat sinks to prevent throttling and bottlenecks from high speeds uh, of M.2 SSDs. Uh, as for your second question, uh, X570 chipset produces a lot of heat, but specifically on the ORS uh, Extreme. We use multiple layers of heat sinks uh, on the chipset, so a fan is not necessary, oh. while the temperatures are maintained at the normal level. Are the X570 motherboard equipped with any other major features? Uh, of course. Uh, uh, ORS X570 motherboards come with several new features, but I believe uh, Wi-Fi 6 is the one that it's most uh, one of the most important ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Wi-Fi 6 enables gigabit wireless performance, uh, provides smooth uh, video streaming, uh, better gaming experience, a few dropped connections, uh, and speeds up to 2.4 gigabps. Mm -hmm. uh, moreover, it is combined with Bluetooth 5. Uh, which provides four times the range over uh, the previous uh, Bluetooth generation. Uh, last but not least, all the X570 ORS motherboards support the Q++ uh, feature. Mm -hmm. Practically, it's a button on the motherboards which allows users to flash uh, a new BIOS without a CPU, RAM and graphics card. Uh, it's very useful for upgrading to a potentially uh, a new CPU. Combining uh, Q++ with Gigabyte's uh, dual BIOS technology, it's mm -hmm. almost impossible to ever break uh, your motherboard. Oh. Today we have come through our home line up. For more information, you can visit our website or check out detail on Boston video on our channel. This is Gabby with Sophos. Until next time, bye! -bye. bye, -bye. If you want the latest and greatest technology without having to sell a kidney, then the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus is the perfect motherboard for you. Get the best gaming performance with the all new PCI Express Gen 4 interface. Steel Armor reinforcement makes sure your motherboard can handle the latest and greatest graphics cards with ease, even during transportation. The MPG X570 Gaming Plus boasts the iconic red and black gaming colors. The extended heatsink cooling and frother heatsink offer powerful cooling for a rock stable system. The patented propeller blade fan offers great performance at ultra low noise levels. Zero frother technology makes sure your fan will even stop spinning if the temperature allows it, to eliminate any possible noise. The motherboard is equipped with two M.2 slots for blazing fast storage performance. The primary slot even offers transfer speeds up to 64 gigabit per second by utilizing the PCI Express Gen 4 interface. In the box you can also find an M.2 shield frother for both cooling and protection. Because of its atypical PCB design, the MPG X570 Gaming Plus offers easy access to the SATA ports and front USB header. The motherboard also features USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A and Type C, with transfer speeds up to 10 gigabit per second. Audio Boost 4 technology gives you the competitive edge in your favorite games. Hear your enemies at pinpoint precision and dominate the game. If you want to learn more about the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus and all of its features, make sure to take a look at the product page.
If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.